Hello, everyone, and welcome to the LARP Tales podcast. My name is Oliver. I am one half of your hosting duo. I am the only half of your hosting duo. Today, Robin is not with me for this podcast. I'll get into that in a second. Let's just blast through our uh, housekeeping. If you're watching us on YouTube, give us a thumbs up, click subscribe, so you know when a new episode is posted on the Two Having to Roll YouTube channel. If you're listening on your favorite audio platform, then give us a five-star review. That just helps people find the content. We do also have a Patreon. It's currently set at like three bucks a month if you just want to give us a tip if you want to help us in that way you're of course under no obligation to do so right let's get this show on the road all right we are one week away from the larp fest season i think actually maybe lt have already had an event regardless we are one week away from Empire, LARP, uh, and the end of, of the Long Dark, as we call it. I'm not entirely sure whether uh, other LARP games call it the Long Dark, or whether that's just a generic Empire term. I, I, I don't know. Anyway, so Robin's not joining me today, but like a real LARP podcast MVP, I am going to be <laughs> flying the ship uh, solo. I just wanted to give you a quick episode and uh, just check in with you guys we we have been trying to release like three episodes a month currently it's been a little bit tricky with our living situation um the internet isn't uh isn't great where we are currently so that's the reason why we haven't been doing any live streams i used to stream on twitch i we were doing some like live hangouts before big larp events which i was really enjoying i i desperately miss hanging out with uh with with the audience in in chat um and and having audience engagement i i like doing live content unfortunately i can't do that currently i'm trying to troubleshoot it hopefully at the end of the year and well i mean definitely by the end of the year we should have something uh sorted out so we can live stream again the other issue is uh, robin is is currently working and studying and we can we can't record during the evenings, so that means that we only have weekends to to record, and that's not always you know we, even though Robin and I are, are married and we share a, a hobby, um you know we 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 sometimes want to need to do other things we want to do other things, um other than than create content at the weekends. Uh, this this also means that uh, getting guests on has been tricky i I really don't even want to ask certain guests to even come on if the only option i can give them is like oh yeah it has to be on a saturday between two and four you know and it has to be this specific saturday which currently in the past few weeks it would have had to have been um but i that's not saying we're we're not getting guests on anymore um i've spoken to a, a, a couple people that i'm hoping will uh join the podcast and share their larp stories uh, with you all this year um i mean we're, we're coming up to obviously e1 is next week empire larp e1 event one is next week so after that we will be doing our recap and that is usually like three podcast episodes worth of content there so and then you know six weeks later it's the next event and then the next event so that they'll be coming at you um kind of thick and fast anyway um but that's just an update on on kind of content creation uh I, in fact, actually, uh, more more updates. So currently, yeah, Robin's extremely busy. Um, I'm less so busy <laughs> as you get currently. Um, I do want to uh, start doing some more uh, YouTube content, some short form content. Well, when I say short, we do need to do short form content. Um, I do, when we get them out, I enjoy doing the, the YouTube shorts, the TikToks, things like that. Uh, for me, doing a podcast, not only do I prefer doing podcast f- format anyway, I know it's not everybody's, Everyone, a lot of people prefer the short form content. Honestly, when it comes to work, uh, a lot more editing work actually goes into those TikToks and things like that. But I do want to start doing a bit more of that. I want to start doing more 
just regular YouTube videos as well. Um, the the channel this year is on on YouTube has got um, it, it's getting a little bit more more attention. Some of our older videos um, are picking up views now. We're getting into uh, the LARP season. That uh, welcome to not welcome to Empire. That uh, this uh, what is LARP and the introduction to Empire is over a year old now. Um, and it doesn't it doesn't need updating because it's still I think un unless if if Empire gets a new site and they will and there's enough of a change then we might update that one but it's crazy seeing that video now the funny thing about that video is that that was after one full year of doing Empire so it was supposed to be a a YouTube video of a recap of what we thought about empire it turned into a empire lap 101 <laughs> type thing it wasn't actually supposed to be like when we started it was like halfway through filming because we we felt like we had to like explain what everything was like if someone were to come along it you know come across it and and be like oh yeah what is this you know these people went to this empire thing there's a lot of things in there we had to explain so it then just became a you know 101 what is empire larp how do you make a character all that um but that 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 video's done pretty well i would like to do more content in and around that i don't think we need to do redo that one but there's 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 things like trying to find a larp is is one that's coming up a bit now i know there's some i've seen there's some people that have made a website i can't remember the name i've not even looked at it yet um, I need to go check it out, but I have seen that people have made a website uh, making like, it's almost like a database, I think, of, of LARPs, upcoming LARPs, um, so you can find like the type of LARP you want. Because the, the problem is with with LARP, I've said this many times now, is that you, you don't really get a vibe of what you're going to get like you do with so many other things, especially in the world of the internet, right? I mean, I do remember a time, I'm old enough, but like before you could go on YouTube and check something out if you wanted to start like a new hobby or something, um, you, you'd, you'd go, oh yeah, I'm going to go try this with my, with my friend and you wouldn't know what it was like until you went and experienced it, you know? Um, the, the problem is, is that you, if Empire's, Empire's not so bad because there's a lot of us that go to Empire and there's lots of, we make lots of content talking about it, even though there's no filming. Some of the other bigger LARPs are like that as well, but some of these smaller LARPs. So if you wanted to go to a, a specific type of LARP, you know, with a, I don't want to single, purposely single any uh, specific LARPs here by accident. Um, but yeah, just, j just an IP that you want to LARP in, right? And you're like, I want this type of specific type of LARP. It might be a small LARP and all you've got to go on is a website, which is usually very basic. And it is just, uh, you, you've just got the, the, the rule book there and it's, it's just a, just the most basic website you could possibly find. And you've got maybe a, a Facebook group with a small amount of people in there. Um, to start off with, which is why I think like joining the bigger LARPs like Empire, um, CP, there's a lot of crossover there anyway between Curious Pastimes. Um, if Especially like in this country, I'm assuming it's the same for other countries, but like if you were going to start like LARPing in this country, um, I would honestly like recommend you joining the Empire and curious pastimes even if you want to go off and do a Battlestar Galactica LARP or a Lord of the Rings LARP or whatever you know if you join those bigger communities right there's a good chance that a chunk of the Empire community is going to be attending these smaller LARPs right so uh so like I, I LARP is a good example like when we went to the um we went to the Feast Your Eyes event uh at uh Ebersley uh, Ebersley Airsoft um we we already heard about it anyway but we knew a lot of people that went to those games and when we arrived even though we didn't know the site um we knew like half the people there <laughs> just just through empire so that's already a, a big load of anxiety taken off you you know um also with with 
with Empire, you're going to get like people like myself and um, so some of the other co great content creators that are, are our peers, you know, give you a good idea of what it's like to go to Empire for the first time. Um, so I want to make videos like that. Talking about going to Empire for the first time, I'm going to, someone flagged that some of our old uh, podcast episodes had been, uh, were removed from Spotify and um, Apple Podcasts. Uh, that was my fault. Apparently, I, I messaged um, our, our hosting and apparently I, I had a maximum of like 100 episodes. We haven't done 100 episodes of LARP Tales yet, but there was we, we did a D&D a &D campaign that was on there as well. So we were over like 100 episodes and I, I set the, the maximum default set to 100 episodes. So we'd gone over that at some point, which means the, the older episodes disappeared. They're all there now, um, but it, it did. So if, if you want to go check out the... Uh, like the, for those first episodes that we did um, from our first experience, because there's a lot of new people coming in. A lot of new people have um, uh, have reached out. Um, we've had a, a few people use our referral code, um, which is uh, if you have used our referral code this year or in previous years, um, thank you, because that does it, it does make a difference. Um, it does, does, does help us out, even though it's not a direct, you know, it helps us with, with ticket purchasing and getting us to the events, you know, it just, it, it means we can kind of offset and anything we spend money on giving you the podcast, it does, you know, it, it does support us in that way. But it also gives us an indication of like the new people coming along. So I, I do know there's, there's a chunk of new people. I'm not, I'm not entirely sure whether Claire said on the podcast when she came on, uh, what the numbers they're expecting, as in the increase percentage of increase in new players, um, I imagine it's about the same um, as every. I imagine there's an, an extra two to three hundred new players because there seems to be um, at every every E1 at least. Um, so I know that uh, some of you will get a bit of value out of listening to those those first ones when i listen to them i cringe a little bit um but they are audio only so that's before we were doing video so if you want to go check them out they are on um podbean spotify apple podcasts um i will what i can do for you tomorrow is i can upload like um, uh, edit them slightly and re-upload them to youtube um uh, I won't put a notification on them, just not to bug people. Uh, but I can upload them to YouTube if you want to listen to them. There's no, there's no video with them. Some people might find it valuable to listen to our experience of that first event, which is is crazy to think that it was like, yeah, two years ago now that that we went to Empire for the first time. Um, I was thinking about this the other day, and I, it kind of got me wondering like what my feelings towards empire is like now you know just about to start like my uh ninth event from right before our first event and i, I kind of came to the conclusion that i it, not much has changed like honestly i like when i was anticipating going the things that i was excited to experience i have experienced and i'm now excited to experience again like I think the, the the main thing that's changed is kind of you see that you know you see the cracks in the game a little bit when you start getting more you know you intimately know the game you know I I feel like I'm I'm more embedded into the community it's still a great game I still I still love it uh, but it's you know the, the, there's you get used to it you know you get like uh, you get acclimatized to it accustomed to it you know you get habituated into it um it's it's quite interesting seeing especially before the first event of the year you know they they release the all the wins and and whatnot and yeah seeing some of the reactions to like rules changes and yeah some of the things that are going on in the campaign some people are happy with some stuff some people aren't happy with some stuff um, there's been there's been a couple of things I think I've not really been worried about any of the rule changes. Uh, really, there was a change to do with like criminality and and 
basically stealing <laughs> stuff in character. I actually thought, as far as the new rules, I actually thought that was the current rules anyway. Uh, that's probably not going to affect me too much. Um, some of the winds of war were interesting. I haven't actually read. I read all the winds of war. I haven't read all the the winds of fortune. Uh, the the, the barons' winds um, were interesting. Uh, it was an interesting choice to have the have them written from the side of the locals and not the side of the empire um i'm not entirely sure i'm sure they have a, i'm sure they have a plan for why they um why they do these 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 things but it's it's quite interesting being a you know this is like yeah third third year going to empire and seeing seeing the new players coming in with with all their with all their keen um talking about new players um uh, yeah if people want to come up and say say hi if you're coming to E1 and you want to come say hi. Uh, uh, if you want to chat like podcast stuff, um, I love chatting podcast stuff. Uh, as long as it's not like in, in, in character, it's totally fine. We make coffees in the morning so you can come over to the, the Mortair camp. I'm usually, we're usually chilling uh, before time in then. That's a good time to come where to, to catch us where we're just um, just chilling out. I'm, I'm more than happy to talk about our character stuff. Uh, then, um, but when I'm in in character, I like to be like, uh, you know, immersed and 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 in character. Um, I have put so uh, there is a there is a unofficial um, empire uh, Discord for Dawn the Nation. I think it's open. I think it's open to everybody. I think there's anyone can 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 join um, from from any nation. Uh, there's a little like character introduction thing there. I don't think Robin's put hers in, but I've put my new character in uh, to the character introductions bit. Um, so you know, if you do need to, if you know, if you want to come up and role play uh, with with Damon, then uh, I put a little thing in there. But like you know, with the type of things um, he's interested in, I'm super excited to be playing Damon again, especially with the. Uh, doing so many player events before E1 as well. I feel like I'm uh, that's that's geared me up um, to hit the ground running at E1. One of the big differences this year, I think, it was it got a little bit that way last year. We've got pre we've got pretty good at recapping the events without going into uh, <laughs> into the into the finer details of what our characters are actually kind of doing within. Uh, the mechanics of the game, if you like. So, uh, you know, our first events, we were just like newbies, our characters were newbies. Uh, this time, um, you know, I, I have my eyes on on certain parts of the game that, you know, it, it's a longer form type of game that I want to get involved in. And, you know, when you come back and you recap it on the podcast, this is just this, this is for entertainment, right? So I'm going to, I'm going to tell a story to be entertaining, uh, but you know this is going to be like our stories will definitely change from maybe the past couple of years because I think we're 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 trying to get into the kind of into the more influential parts of the game, you know, and uh, it's it's there's details that you probably don't want to divulge um, on a public uh, in a public way um, until maybe they're all they're all said and done. Um, so that's good. That's going to be that's going to be interesting. But I'm also uh, yeah, really excited for uh, where Damon could be. Hopefully not dead. <laughs> where Damon could be <laughs> this time next year. Uh, yeah, hopefully not. Hopefully not gone. Uh, when it comes to combat this year, um, I don't think my health's not going to allow me. I don't think to. Uh, I'm saying health, my fitness really is probably not going to allow me to to do as much running around as I did last year. Um, so the way I've kind of built Damon anyway is to have him probably prowling around in the back of the lines rather than being a frontline fighter uh, this time. So yeah, I wanted to get this episode out to you uh, this week. Um, we are going to be recording an episode uh, this weekend um, for new new Empire LARP players. Um, I kind of want to do like a driving to E1 uh, type episode uh, there was a question I think on one of the Facebook pages I think and it was about what's what's going on in in all the nations at Anvil because there's a lot of information on the wiki on you know what there is to do for new players from a game perspective um, 
who went through all this was Claire. There's the there's the new player skirmish. Uh, there's all the 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 new player brief, and you know you have all the all the meetings there on the on the Friday um that go over all the different parts of the game lots of different workshops and and whatnot um but actual what is happening like for role play um there isn't a comprehensive list of that from pd because obviously a lot of it most of it is is player led um so we're going to do a what is there to do what is going on at e1 in each of the 10 nations um i think i've got a, a substantial list currently um but if uh yeah, any of any of my friends in the nations that definitely know what's going on, it would be helpful if you could give me a <laughs> give me a heads up and say, hey, this is happening. Because obviously, there the are ones that I I know better than others, um, and I know more people in some of the nations um, than others. But yeah, it's it's just just little things. Though, like um, for, for so winter is a uh, it's usually in the theme of yeah death, and so there's lots of uh, there's lots of um festivals around kind of remembrance and death we have the festival of remembrance literally in in dawn at e1 so we're going to go over a, a few things like that um robin and myself uh, and that'll be out on tuesday um obviously won't won't be out won't be out on thursday because most of us hopefully will be on the field um on thursdays this is a short and sweet uh podcast today we've got a limited time for uh recording this week uh but yeah, we will be back uh, next week. We will uh, see you on Tuesday. I love you all very much. Stay safe. Bye-bye, everyone.